Okay, so <coughs> put the other USB stick in there. <coughs> See what we got here. And there it is, Lenovo Think Center. Okay, now we're gonna hurry. System tools, Enterprise tools. Let's see what I got in system tools. Boot repair disk. Yeah, DRBL Live. That's cool. You can uh, boot uh, other machines. It'll be a live Pixie boot. I call it Pixie boot. Uh, boot other machines to that a live CD, CD <laughs> USB that will uh, make other. Okay, now I was gonna see what was in my Linux. Okay, it says Linux, but oh, antivirus tool, ESET and Chronos. That's what I got. That is probably what I ought to run. Maybe before I even try to fix the boot. I'm not in the mood to fool with it. Is the thing. But if it's got a virus on it, like I had suspected, then fixing the boot will just leave me infected. Suspected, infected, get it run. Okay, I think one of these is, either one of these I think I like better than the one that's on the other USB stick, ESET. I think ESET was the one I liked the best. Let's just do that, since I'm in here messing around. Run ESET Rescue. Yep, that's what I want. Okay. Since I couldn't think straight to do the work I was trying to do, I thought, what the heck, I'll just mess with this for a minute. But <laughs> just made me crazy. E set. It's a new one to me, actually. I found it on one of these. Um, let's see, I built this with the Yummy, so I believe that's how I found it. It's a Windows app that can. Um, there you go, you're all. You gotta agree to give it your firstborn or something I'm not sure what decline and shut down oh you want to select what you want and I'm gonna have to do something to where I can see it myself okay enable the live grid that's kind of like it's gonna be helpful let's see enable potentially unwanted application Oh yeah, I might as well do that. Usually it's a lot of my stuff like Yummy, not with that one in particular, but a lot of my apps I use, um, you know, they're going to use ads to try to make some money with these free Windows apps. And I'm going to say accept and go. And now it'll start updating. And uh, let's see. Whoa, sorry there. Uh, so anyway, a lot of them have pups. But uh, I actually, I know they're good applications. I've been using them for years, and the ads, usually the ads aren't even all that bad. If they're real bad and blinky, I don't use the program. I can't stand that. But uh, application, some of them, I wasn't reading, I was talking. Some of them you have to uh, update. There we go. It's updating. So some of them you've got to update before you know, manually, and some of them they'll just automatically go straight into the update and start scanning. There's one that doesn't tell you one way or the other, of those three that I've got on here. It just starts scanning real quickly, and I'm never <laughs> I hope it's updating. There we go. Okay, it says it's updated up there at the top. Come up there. I don't think that can be seen on the camera. But this is a little Linux uh, operating system. It's just set up for, it's got a few other little tools in there. Where's the, uh, okay, it's updated. Yeah, okay, it's still stuff about the password, but it must be built in, because do, you don't really actually have to do it. And uh, on-demand scan is where you go. There's tools there. You can I, you look through the log files and stuff once it's done, but you want to go to on-demand scan. You can do smart scan. Uh, I like to go in there and set up because I want to make sure that I get what I want, which is I want in-depth scan. Profile doesn't really matter. Threat sense. I just scan everything. Um, yeah, 
but since the unsafe applications, in this case I'm doing everything it'll do. No cleaning, strip cleaning. It will automatically, I'm in the wrong place here, it will automatically clean or delete infected files. In this case, I'm going to go all the way to strict because it's a broken system and all if they can make it uh, clean and work I'd be alright. I'm probably going to reformat it no matter what. And I was usually I scan with at least three different applications, you know, programs. Okay, now. We're going to um, targets, yeah. See the uh, I don't need to scan my USB stick. I want the boot sectors, of course. Don't need CD-ROM. There's nothing in there. Okay. Recycle bin, system volume information. That's where my first partition is. Uh, that's going to be the other one because it has all the all the files in it. And of course, you get down there, you'll see somewhere you'll see Windows. Yep. Now let's just see what's in local disk three. If I, yeah, I wouldn't want to be automatically deleting things because there's a lot of stuff in Linux that uh, that uh, virus Windows virus scanners don't understand. And the U3 system, that's that's my USB stick. Oh, that's yeah. I think that's what uh, yeah. Local disk three is my USB. The uh, US, my USB stick has this U3 system. Always know that's it. That's some little Windows uh, stuff that uh, makes it. Ah, uh, it works in Windows. I don't know what they do, but anyway, it's supposed to make it better. But all it does is bug you, pop up all the time and ask you, do you want to do this and that? And you never do. Little programs, but um, EFI. Yeah, I don't have EFI. I'm not running that on my system. I'm running. Uh, Retro boot, whatever they call it. Uh, so that would be. Oh, okay. That's my boot partition. That's all it can see. It can't see the uh, LVMs. Whoops, I did not mean to click. What did I click on? Okay, I didn't. It can't see uh, this one. It's the funny because different Linux say okay. Different Linux operating systems. This one must be based on Debian. Let's see if I can tell here. A lot of times I can just tell by looking through the little menu. See, there's not much in there. View part is really handy. Team viewer is in there, which actually could be useful. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not even sure which. Uh, this, this is XFCE or L LMDE or what, but it's a lightweight uh, desktop, that's for sure. Um, Anyway, Debian won't mount the uh, commonly used Fedora LVMs, but Fedora will automatically. So I imagine it's Debian. So I mean, it can be done, but you got to do it. You get in there and do it. Okay, now that. Oh, dang, got me. I clicked on. I actually, I was going to see. Click on the drop down list, and I didn't want it to start. I think I was setting up Smart Skin anyway, wasn't I? I already forgot. I was going to look on the custom scan and see what was in there. I mean, that's the one I thought I wanted to run. <coughs> so already I'm up to 40%. Well, there's not really a lot on there. Just uh, the basic operating system and the uh, files that I copied over from my laptop. This one over here. And for some reason... Oh, I was trying to use... I See, I have a KVM switch. And I... Uh, can normally just click over. And I swear I clicked on done. I guess I must have hit enter and it was defaulted on uh, admin. Let's see. So I was going to get in there so that I could mess with these new phones. I've got three of them actually. There's two of them. These are um, Alcatel. They're from Walmart for $14.88. Oh, they were. I don't know if they still are. They're Alcatel, um, they're called Alcatel One Touch, Popstar, 
um, 8845L, I believe, is the model number. I had to tag them so I'd know which one was which. But I got two for me to play with and one for my mom to actually get service and use. I probably won't even get service on mine because uh, I don't really need it. And uh, I don't have, I haven't had a mobile phone since 2001 and I've been happy without any interruptions. <laughs> But I love, I mean, it's a pocket f computer for 15 bucks. So I love Linux and Android's based on Linux and their ecosystem. I, you know, I've read about it over the years, but I hadn't messed, hadn't used, messed with it, period. I never had a smartphone. And uh, my first, well, back then, the last phone I had, it would get on the internet, but it wasn't a smartphone. They hadn't invented, been invented yet. And uh, anyway, you're watching my scan, isn't that fun? Uh, my, um, I'll show you my little. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know what I was talking about. My little. Uh, there's my regular keyboard. My favorite key. I got two of those. I love those. Has a real volume knob over there somewhere. Oh, it's up under the thing. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, I built. I had a. Ra I built a uh, TV, XBMC Media Center with a Raspberry Pi single board computer and uh, actually I got this for free uh, from Elma 14 for a and review this little keyboard and uh, so then I went ahead and bought the Pi and all I didn't have one and I bought it so that I could uh, that's what it's that they uh, brand it for is to work with the Raspberry Pi but I wonder if I can oh you don't you don't you don't want me to show you my password <laughs> I was about to okay uh, I'm gonna stop because I can't do all this uh, at the same time and that's 45% so it'll be about, it'll be another 10 or minutes probably